All right, so today we're talking about a little bit of the administrative business owner uh, documentation type stuff that you guys kind of need to uh, think a little bit more about no matter where you're at in your business, whether this is your first day or you've been at it for you know a couple of decades, you already know this stuff. But for those of you who are just starting out, three things that you always need to have at least in your truck. Um, I would recommend keeping them in your truck and not on your trailer. Because if your trailer gets stolen, the two books on the right are going to be your saving grace. Uh, the book on the left, you can keep it wherever you think you need to keep it, as long as it's with you at all times. <clears throat> um, so, just to sum this up, the two books on the right, I'm not going to open up because obviously it's got all of my personal and business information in it. I'm not going to broadcast that out to YouTube, but if you guys just look at the title, Insurance Policy and Legal Documents. Everything that says that you are a legitimate business and that you are insured, certificates of insurance, um, any past claims that you may have had, uh, put those in there. But uh, anything from your state, regardless of what state it is, anything that you can show and prove that you are a legitimate business, go ahead and put that stuff in there. And I would recommend having at least a quick, uh, friendly printout of your tax returns in there if you're going to keep this in an office and not necessarily in your truck. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting any financial documents in there if you're going to have this thing mobile. Just because if your truck and trailer, if anything gets stolen, that stuff's out there. Uh, anything that has your social security number on it, just black that out or don't even put it in there. But you guys make your own decision based on how your business is set up. So for mine, uh, one binder. I've got my truck registration, all of the service records for my truck so I can show you everything that I've ever done to it, my trailer registration, and then my equipment information to include oil changes, uh, pump oil changes, the hours, the cost, all the receipts. Um, everything is printed out in there. Just scan it in, lay all your receipts out, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, print that stuff, scan it, or if you've got an app, um, one of the apps that I use is Quicken Self-Employed. You can just snap pictures of that stuff now. So I'm actually thinking about uh, either doing a quick printout and just putting it in there or taking that stuff out of that book completely. The one book that I will open up uh, is your safety data sheets. If you have any chemicals, it does not matter what it is. It could be Dawn dish soap. It could be you know, some $55 a gallon stuff that you bought because somebody said it was the most magical substance ever known to man. Does not matter what it is. Does not matter if it comes with the SDS printed on the bucket or on the bottle, whatever. Print out an SDS. Go to the manufacturer and print that stuff out. Absolutely everything that you have in your truck and your trailer, print that stuff out. It does not matter what it is. If it is a chemical or it has any type of purpose in the cleaning industry whatsoever. It could be hand sanitizer. Uh, if it is in your trailer being used for any type of purpose that could possibly be construed as a business pur purpose, you have to have an SDS for it. Um, so just going through, if you go to uh, some of these big name websites, you know, like powerwash.com, EcoChem, if you've ever bought anything from them, they're going to send you an SDS with that first purchase. But if you lose that, uh, anything that you deal with, go ahead and just go online. Um, there is literally, there's the one for Dawn Dish Soap. So you guys that think I'm kidding, go ahead and print that stuff out. Um, WD-40, right? If you spray WD-40 on the hinges of the trailer of the door on your trailer and that bottle or that can is inside that trailer, you need to have an SDS for it. Uh, all your hydroxides, everything that you've got in there and kind of organize it however you see fit. But as long as you've got that identification to show, hey, this is what the chemical is, this is who makes it, this is where it's from, what it's rated for, this is the cleanup hazards, exposure hazards, all that stuff. Um, just a real quick video, I'm trying to keep this under five minutes. But those are the three things that you need to have at all times. And they're all right there in those binders listed out on the titles. There you go. Super simple.